Lord. Yeah, we're going to call this uh, Black Christ uh, Rastafari Passover. But this is what it is for I and I, right? We have to know the truth for I and I self. And I just went to do a little uh, search on the on the Internet, right, um, for what was out there basically concerning Black Christ and Rastafari. We see some of the vids right here that we've posted, Rastafari and Black Christ, New World Order. Um, New World Order, Yeshua's regeneration, the generation and the regeneration, right, according to the scriptures and according to the teachings of His Imperial Majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, Abatach and our Father, as well as this Rastafari Torah RSS 49, and now we're in the we're in the book of uh, Leviticus actually, right now we're in the book of Leviticus. This is going to be a short segment, longer segment coming up, and we're about what is it um, 23, 4, 5, about two about two days from the beginning of uh, Fasica or Pesach, which is Passover, moving on, moving forward. This is it's very, in, very important for us to understand. It's very interesting, many of the concepts that are associated with it, but we have to rightly be able to divide the word for ourselves. Now, I know that we promote um, these studies as a basic um, a basic. Uh, Information. This is basic intel right here. We're going through the Torah portion, readings and feedings. So when we say Vayikra, right? Vayikra, we are speaking of Tarito, Tarito, right? Bamarinya from the Metaf Kedus, and according to the teachings of His Majesty. Where's this page right here? Here we go, right here. Now, as we touched on before. Well, let's see if we can center this, center this more right here. This is the key significant word we'll highlight it right here, tarito. Now, if you can see uh, tarito very, very big, right? But what we're going to do is, right, we're going to zoom in. All right, let's see if we can zoom in on this right here so you can see this large. So if you can see this large, the last letter, right, of Tarito, uh, right, the last letter right here. Let us uh, let us try this right here. Okay. Okay. That's the last letter of 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 Tarito. If we zoom it in as large as we can possibly get it, right? Okay, this is chapter one. Okay, I think this might be, you know, this everything has a limit right there. Okay, here's this verse. Very good. This is super large, right? This is super large, but looks well on the screen. Like I said, this is a short segment. We should have actually made this a longer segment. But this is a short segment, longer segment coming up. And so we want to focus on just the true cross, right, the true cross. You see this right here in this particular Torah portion? Now, 2013 is important because 2013 is a jubilee year. And 2013 is actually 2012 because there was no zero year. These are some things that you need to understand. But with all these correspondences overlapping, it's more than a coincidence, Right, it's more correspondences may be more than coincidences. Coincidences mean two particular incidences that line up, right? Whether it's planned or not. Now, if you notice, this is an ankh right here, the symbol, but it's the Ethiopic fidel of To. So Tarito, which means and he called. Who called Muse? It says Egziavi Herim Ka Meganyao Din Kwan. It was Moses, right? Musene, Muse, Musain, Tarito. In this seal, Tenagaro. And like this, he said. And this is now the Torah portion before 
the Black Christ and Rastafari Pesach 2013. So brothers and sisters,